Hey, God bless you family. Thanks for tuning in again. I didn't plan on doing a second video today, but um, I saw a news headline that jumped out at me and I wanted to speak on it. That kind of ties into my earlier video on uh, Israel and being careful to not make an idol out of anything, right? Uh, a nation or any other type of idol. Pick your idol, right? There's so many. So I've seen a headline on End Time Headlines talking about Pastor Alistair Begg. You heard of this guy? I've heard of him before. I've listened to him. Even before I was converted, I would hear him on the radio, and, and I knew some some biblical things, um, but I was still lost, and I always appreciated him. He's like, uh, he's Scottish or Irish. He's like 71. He um, has a, a Christian radio ministry. Uh, Christian radio ministry drops Pastor Alistair Begg from programming lineup after he suggested Christians could attend same-sex weddings to, quote, build bridges with culture. Okay, so um, the Lord is making it easy in these end days to just release our grasp on on idols. Um, I don't know. You know, people can make an idol out of out of man, out of a person. Um, oh, I love so-and-so, you know, and you support them, you know, like blindly almost, and if there's any corruption, you no, know, not him, he could never. You got to be careful with that, right? Because um, we are yoked to this body of death. We still can sin. We're not sinners. We're saints who can sin, but we are not sinners. That is not our walk. That is not our practice. So, <clears throat> yeah, he was basically saying to a question one of his listeners uh, wrote in or called in that you could go and support you know, same-sex type of union type of thing. Okay, but what does God's word say? That we are come ye out of them and be separate, be different, be distinct from the world. Um, does light have fellowship with darkness, uh, evil with good? No, the answer is no. Of course it doesn't. <clears throat> and we know as the body of Christ, we are one, so we are to be united. Let there be no division among, among you. Paul says, which when I think of all the denominations out there, it's like, oh, you know, people, we're so foolish, even the the believers, right? We can be so splintered. We should all be non-denominational. It should just be the word of God. And um, I digress, but, and, um, you know, in the book of Revelation, it talks about the whole world will be of one mind. You know, we don't want to be yoked with the world at all. We want to be very separate and distinct yeah and, and so this ties in with my previous video on Israel where uh, people can just get too over invested where they will be blindly you know even have communication saying well you don't know this you need more of this you don't get this they are this and it's like no I understand all of that <laughs> my whole point is like it's Jesus number one and everything else is in its proper order but with going back to Alistair Begg okay so he basically said you know it's fine to do that um, it's fine to go and support this union. He even said um, you should also, and I suggest that you buy them a gift. So he's saying, like, not only be there, but like just kind of participate. And I know Paul talks about in the New Testament talking about um, like idols are nothing. You know, they're they're a rock or stone, but there are demons behind those things. And there's nowhere in Scripture talking about you know go to these feasts and celebrations and. You know, or you think when Moses went up to the mountain and uh, the Israelites made, made an idol, right, to a demon. There's demons behind that. And it said they rose up to play sexual immorality. It was a big deal. The Lord smote. He killed a lot of them. <clears throat> right? So we don't play with that stuff. People could have been like, well, let's go celebrate a bit. Moses, we haven't seen him in a while. He could be dead. We used to always do this in Egypt. I mean, eh, we're learning stuff. We've seen the cloud. Maybe won't do everything, but let's go eat some of that food. And, you know, I mean, no, let's not participate in any of this. So Alistair Begg, in my estimation, uh, you know, he made a bad call saying that's okay. You know, he's saying, well, then, okay, as long as he knows that, that, she, that she's a believer and stuff, you know, and should I go? Then I suggest that you do go to the ceremony. I suggest you buy them a gift. Sorry, I kind of just already said that. Um, cause you don't want, he's like, you don't want to perpetuate those, um, judgmental stereotypes that culture holds about the church. No, we want people to know we're different. We, we don't want, we don't want to look like the world. We want to look distinct and different. You know what I'm saying? And he's saying, well, here's the thing. Your love for them may catch them off guard, but your absence will simply reinforce the fact that they said 
these people are what I always thought, judgmental, critical, unprepared, okay, etc. You get it. So that's basically it. And um, he had an opportunity, eh, I don't know where it is exactly here, but I believe he had an opportunity to um, like kind of recant that stuff, and um, I don't think he did. Actually, let me find that for you guys as we're talking about this. Sorry, I hate scrolling on cell phones sometimes. Things just blip out. Ugh. Okay. Here it is, I do believe. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so American Family Association, we believe it to be an act of unfaithfulness to God to attend a ceremony that celebrates any union outside a biblical model of marriage, uh, one man, one woman. Members of their leadership team held a call with Alistair Begg's team and were unsuccessful in convincing them of his error. Okay, right, so they're holding the line, and that's unfortunate, but that's an easy call. We're, you know, we're not putting all our stock in man. We're in God's Word. We're in prayer. We appreciate those who minister the Word, but if any scandal or any corruption or any problem comes, we are easily being like, well, yeah, we're sinful flesh. That can happen. Thank God I read my Bible. Thank God I know what's up. So I encourage you guys uh, to do that as well. It makes me think of that uh, singer from DC Talk, Kevin Max. I think he kind of, you know, gave up believing on Jesus, and he was saying, "No, I believe more in a Jesus consciousness." So you know, sounding more New Agey and like. And if you're a big DC Talk fan or, or Kevin Max fan, you might be a little shipwrecked and screwed up there and be like, "Well, what the heck? His songs were so beautiful, and I love that song. And I've seen him in concert, and etc. Cetera, etc." Cetera. So. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video regarding Israel, you know, some people put their, their trust in men, uh, in chariots. Some put their um, trust in men. Uh, but I will put my trust on the Lord. That's from Proverbs. I looked afterwards. So that's what we need to be doing. Um, it can't be over-invested in these uh, these other things. So you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, that's it for that. So... Keep your hand to the plow. Don't look behind you. Don't look right or left. Um, go forward. Um, scripture talks about forgetting those things which lay behind. So, yeah, whatever happens, if one of these guys misstep or falls, we uh, we feel bad for them. Let's even say a prayer for them that they come around. But it's full steam ahead. There's enough distractions in this world. So let's not get into the gossipy mode either and be like, oh, yeah, did you hear about so-and-so? I wonder what happened. And, you know, speculate too much because who knows? And we don't want to gossip. So you guys understand what I'm saying. So... I uh, appreciate you watching. I hope this uh, video just give you a little insight to uh, when these discouraging things happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you so much. God bless you.